Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about cerebral palsy and you might know Walter White Jr. from Breaking Bad. He is actually suffering from cerebral palsy. The word cerebral means having to do with the brain. The word palsy means weakness or problems with body movements. Cerebral palsy is the most common cause of motor disabilities in the childhood. Signs and symptoms appear during infancy or preschool years, and its effect on function varies greatly. Some affected people can walk, others need assistance. Some people show normal or near normal intellect, some others have intellectual disabilities. Epilepsy, blindness or deafness also might be present. Symptoms of cerebral palsy are not usually obvious just after a baby is born. They normally become noticeable during the first two or three years of a child's life. Symptoms can include delays in reaching motor skill milestones such as rolling over, sitting up alone or crawling, seeming too stiff or too floppy, lack of balance and muscle coordination, which means ataxia. Other symptoms are difficulty with fine motor skills such as buttoning clothes or picking up utensils, excessive drooling or problems with swallowing, difficulty with sucking or eating, delays in speech development or difficulty speaking, tremors or involuntary movements. Most children are born with cerebral palsy, but they may not show signs of a disorder until months or years later. Symptoms usually appear before a child reaches age 3 or 4. If you notice these symptoms and if you suspect your child has cerebral palsy, call your doctor immediately. Early diagnosis and treatment are very important in this disease. Causes Cerebral palsy can happen if a baby's brain doesn't develop normally while they are in the womb or is damaged during or soon after the birth. Yeah, the general problem is brain development. What can cause this brain development problem? Asphyxia neonatura or a lack of oxygen to the brain during labor and delivery. Gene mutations that lead to abnormal development. Fetal stroke a disruption of blood supply to develop brain. Severe jaundice in the infant, intracranial hemorrhage or bleeding into the brain, maternal infections such as German measles and herpes simplex. Who is at risk for cerebral palsy? Premature birth, low birth, birth, breech birth, which means it occurs when your baby's buttocks or feet come out first. Age incompatibility, which occurs when a mother's blood Rh type is incompatible with her baby's blood Rh type. Maternal exposure to toxic substances. What are the different types of cerebral palsy? Spastic cerebral palsy is the most common type and it's causing stiff muscle, exaggerated reflex and walking problems. This kinetic cerebral palsy causing or abnormal body movements uh, patients who have this type of cerebral palsy cannot control their body movements. 
hypotonic cerebral palsy. In this type of cerebral palsy, we saw floppy, overly relaxed muscles. Ataxic cerebral palsy, it's the least common type. And it's the patients have problems with balance and coordination. How is cerebral palsy diagnosed? Your doctor will diagnose this disease by taking complete medical history and performing physical exam that includes detailed neurological exam and evaluating the symptoms. People with cerebral palsy may have other problems such as communication difficulties including speech and language disorders, drooling, spinal deformity such as scoliosis. In this situation, there is a curve in your spinal cord, lordosis, and kyphosis. Osteoarthritis, contractures, uh, which you when the muscles get locked, painful positions, incontinence. There are some problems in cerebral palsy are in the first image, we are seeing osteoarthritis. In the second image, you can see scoliosis in his spinal cord. And the third image shows us drooling. How to prevent it? Yeah, most cases cannot be prevented, but you can lessen the risks. It's important to get vaccinated against diseases that can cause fetal brain damage such as rubella. It's also crucial to have received adequate prenatal care, attending regular appointments with your doctor during pregnancy can help prevent premature weight, low birth weight and infections. How it is treated? That the goal of the treatment is to improve limitations and prevent complications. Treatment may include assistive aids, medications and surgery. How to look for cerebral palsy? Cerebral palsy affects each person differently and it can be difficult to predict what the outlook will be for you and your child. Generally speaking, the original problem that the brain doesn't get worse over time. Yeah, this is a steady situation, but the condition can put a lot of strain on the body and can cause problems such as painful joints in later life. Most children live into adult life and some can live for many decades. Many children go to mainstream schools but some may have special educational needs and benefit from attending a special school. And that wraps up all the video. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking, commenting and sharing.